so we'll see where we go. So um, yeah, we can start, it's 10. So here's the idea for the day. Um, I wanna run through some examples from your, um, the stories, the dog stories, or the game stories, or the, I like Chris's story. So we'll look at Chris's story. And I hope that you, once they're submitted, that you poke around and look at other people's because some of them are fun. So we'll look at like four or five of them today and talk about, and, I, and I'll use each one of them to illustrate how you, how, um, um, you know, how, what we might have done and kind of expand the code a little bit. Um, and I didn't get a chance to look at all of them yet. So um, hopefully I will. And then we're going to talk about um, five um, practices, which I'll use over and over again. So I'll just say them, I mean, and you've, you've, be, you've begun to hear these words, but we're going to try and put some meaning to these words, linking, tagging, transcluding, listing, and templating. And so we'll give each of those five words a, a meaning, a definition, and, um, and then a technique for how to engage in that, how to write a link, write a tag, write a transclusion, write a list, write a template. And we'll also talk about how you read links, read tags, read transclusions, read lists, and read templates. So we'll talk about reading and writing and techniques and basically show you how to use TiddlyWiki to do those, engage in those practices. Um, and then for the third half of the class, we'll look at the latest exercise, which I posted last night, and we'll try to run through it and see if it works. I kind of did, was doing it late last night, so I don't know, maybe my thinking was wrong. But basically, we're going to see if we can reverse engineer Google News. And if that doesn't appeal to you and you've got a better idea to reverse engineer something else, like a website that you own or a document that you have or a paper that you wrote, you can do that too. But we'll use my example and see how we get. Okay, so we ready? Set, go. Okay. So the... Um, Hey, how you doing? So the, um, in exercise 202, there's a couple of Mark review in class, so those work, and so those are just the ones that I thought I'd bring up. I probably won't bring all of them up, but we'll, we'll um, you can click on it, and partly what I'm trying to do is build something in front of you so you can see it emerge, and so you can look at this, and you can look at this tiddler and say, how did, how is that done, and look at the code for that, and reverse engineer it by taking see if you can figure it out but basically what you're seeing there is um um i don't know there's a template link on the bottom template but what we're after is the quick crit and it looks like the crit extends your work a bit so you can click on crit and if that works and it does it should take you to another wiki that i made so what i did is i went into your tiddly spots and i did a download file save as saved it on my in my directory structure, um, edited it, and then I FTP'd it to my SUNY IT FTP site, which if you know what I'm talking about, you can you know what I'm talking about, and if you don't, I can show you how to use it. It's not terribly difficult. It was pretty annoying last night, though, that you can watch like a two-hour video while I'm trying to get some guy named Marvin to do this. It's like, oh my God, he got these. No wonder I don't teach it. But anyway, it's workable. You can make it work. Um, and then I can, so now I can serve these things. And it's just a directory on my, um, you know, on my hard drive somewhere. It's in my uh, critiques directory somewhere in my hard drive. And I use an FTP client. I use CyberDoc and I just sync them. So every time I want to upload or I just hit sync and they're all there. And that's a little easier than Tiddly Spot. You can have as million, million wikis if you want and stuff like that. So that's how I'll work on these critiques and, if you want to have a similar kind of file structure, I'll show you how to do it, but it's not required. So if you get one of these links and it says crit, you should be able to click on it. And um, so this is um, Andrew. So Andrew, go ahead and share your screen. And I'm going to stop my share. And so we're going to see if this works too. Um, there's a big green button on the bottom and share, yeah. Yeah, and make that full screen. Wow, that's tiny, isn't it? Wow, I can't even read command that. Plus. Yeah. 
plus. Yeah, command plus it like six times. Apple plus, command plus, keep going. There, that's good, okay. So you can see this on your screen too. You can open up the crit and stuff. So basically what you'll see is there's a link there that says see something, so click on that. Okay, and so I might write a story sort of where I'm writing comments and intermixing code that you can look at. So, um, so it looks like Andrew didn't change the fields to reflect his fields, right? Um, I don't think I did it like completely. Yeah, so that's fine. So I just messed around with a little, there's a little bit of pets in your life representing different species. And let's edit this code. And you can make it, um, you can close the sidebar now in the upper right. No, no, not that one. That's the preview window. Click, keep that open and close the sidebar in the upper right. And what that does is it divides your screen in half. On the left is your code. On the right is the way it's going to look. So this is a standard editing behavior that I do. You want to see how things are going to look. So, um, so if we look at this, right, this just is... This, and you're going to see lots of this. I'm going to run through it really quickly. Tag pets each species. So I said, just look at all the things that are tagged with pets and um, figure out how many different species there are. So it looks like there are three, two, dogs and cats. Yeah. Dog, I'm sorry, dog and cat. Not dogs and not cat. And that's an interesting style decision that you want to make as you get into this do you as you because you begin to see your words like the names of your tags show up and so do you want it to be dogs or do you want it to be cats and you'll see that in my practice the way that i and the thing that the part of my practice that you witness all the time is design right studio i kind of vacillate back and forth and i go different directions so but that's not a good way to do it you should have a policy okay so that's the first thing so and then number two, and I'll try to number these just so it's easy, because sometimes you get lost in the code and it's hard to find out which code is driving which part of your presentation. So I'll try to put, I put in some numbers. And you can start doing this practice as well to document what you're doing so you can keep track of your own pieces of code. So it looks like here's a list of species with the names of your pets. And so we got, we repeat the same first line of code, first two lines of code, and then inside the, his list, we do a sub list, like a little list. So if you begin to think, and this is, some of you are like not too kind of code specific, so this might be new for some of you, but it's, but it's kind of a way of thinking. You've got this big list of all the tiddlers that are tagged species. Now we're looking at the ones that are tagged dog. And now what do we want to say about them? Well, let's, let's get a list of all the ones that are, so that second list filter tagged pets then says the field species with the current value of species. So species dog, species cat. And so your sort of second order list. And then all I do is I print out the name of the tiddler, the title, followed by a comma. So you get dog colon. That's on the first line after the first list. You get dog colon. Um, I think I'm still, oh, so can you highlight that line, Andrew? That's generating the dog colon. On the left of your code, uh, yeah, right there, exactly. See how the colon is there? Yeah, replace that colon with an X. Now put a space in front of it. So if you're ever not sure where in your code you are, just start typing, and stuff will start showing up on the screen, and say, oh, okay, I'm there. And that's so, yeah, if you don't want a comma, I use double vertical bars sometimes as spacers. Try that, see if you like that. Instead of the X, do a double vertical bar. That's a backslash. The pipe, yeah, the double, yeah. Okay, maybe get rid of the X. Okay. So, so it's like dog, buddy, comma, little girl, comma, Shiloh, comma. How come there's a comma at the end of the list? We don't want that, right? Eh, I don't know how to get rid of it. So for our purposes, we live with that annoyance um, if you can think of ways to make it better that's good there's you can do a sub but in the meantime we can live with it um, and if you don't want a comma just don't put comments um, okay and then the third time the only thing I do differently is I make each tiddler a link 
And you see, yeah, right there. And so, if, and that just will build a link to the current tiddler. And when it goes to a place that doesn't, that you don't want it to, then write back to the group saying, how come I'm getting a link in this wiki to the wrong tiddler? And my answer will be because you're linking to the current tiddler and you, you at the moment don't know exactly what the current tiddler is. So, but until you need to know that, and it might be that it never happens in the semester, you can always just work with the default current tiddler, you're good to go. Okay, so thanks Andrew. So that, um, that's sort of what I'll do with critiques is just mess around with it and show you different stuff using your own code. Um, so yeah, and then let me share my screen and see what the next one is. I'm not sure it's, uh, um, we're here, and I want to look at Ben's. Um, what do we do with Ben? Oh yeah, look at Ben. So you, um, you have to sign into the Zoom room. Sorry. Um, click on. So anybody can do this too. If you go to the um, Design Right and search for Zoom and you, or Zoom room. In the meantime, I'm just going to go to the crit for Ben and. I forgot to have them sign in, so I'll just do it. Um, so it looks like I revised. And Chris, you, why don't you go ahead and sign into the Zoom room? So we'll come to you next, and then we'll stop with the. So it looks like I revised Ben's um, template by just. Um, where's the original one? Here's his original one. And. Um, yeah, that was the one with that was the one that came from the exercise. So yeah, so it wasn't doing anything, right? Because you changed your field names. So I just revised his template with his field names. Um, and let's see, what is it? A bunch of albums, maybe? No games. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it must drive. It's doing this work. Right, so that's just, so, and I think most of you have seen that. Okay, um, so that's templating. Um, and then, Chris, did you join in the group? Yeah, if you are going to join the group and you're all welcome to keep your mics, your, don't join the audio because that'll create feedback and it will ruin our recording. Chris, are you in there? Chris, he's getting there. Okay. <coughs> So, Chris had a set of memes, and so for every meme had a distinctive source. So, um, which is sometimes useful and sometimes not, but it didn't really lend itself to his sort of what we call that second order organization. So I added a new, what did I add? A, a new meme to, to yours or a different, same meme, different source or something? So look at, I added Pringle. So look at Pringle. Oh, that's the original. Yeah, go look at the Pringle Tiddler. Okay, so I just copied that from his other Tiddler. I can't remember what the other one was. It was... uh. I don't know, these are copy pastas. What are, what are copy pastas? I know it's a funny way to say it, right? Now, what are, what are they? What were you building here? Okay, so the, the co how do you say it? Copy pasta. It's like copy and paste. Yes, so it's a, okay, that's what I thought. So it's like, sure. Okay, they're interesting and they're objects and we can play with them. So um, I just went and found one that was like another. Um, and what did I do? I built, a, um, I built something for you. Probably hit home and it should take you home. Yeah, so I always set home to critique. And um, oh, and I generated a new story for you. So what you had was you only had one under gender, sexual identity, politics. Now there's two. So that was the idea. If you, let's look at the code for that. 
and then basically Chris uses the same code as we saw Andrew use. Um, so under story three, where do we get the name of the source? So I'll just highlight that line of the code. Yeah, okay, and anybody knows HTML? So single brackets are HTML commands. Um, and you can just look at mine and say, gee, I guess if there's an H2, there's probably an H3, there's probably an H1. Let's see what happens and just so that's, so, or you can look up yourself and see how to write H codes in HTML. So I just enclose the name of the source and then we looks like we, we list it, we sort it. He does an end sort by year. Um, end sort is a numeric sort. So if you've got a numeric variable, you can end sort it and build a link around the title and then puts the year in parentheses. And, um, and then puts the text, the field text. So yeah, so that's like a pretty standard listing. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Um, so anybody um, who submitted have a crit that they wanna draw our attention to that might be something different than we haven't seen from these? Or anybody have challenges that they couldn't figure out a way to get something to work? Their code is broken? Ready to move on? Okay. So there's our first half.